Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. It's Christmas Eve, and I thought I would make some candy cane bark. You could make a million kinds of bark, but this one I'm going to make for us today, and it's so simple, so easy, three ingredients. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I have some dark chocolate and white chocolate, and I'm just going to use half a bag of each for the, for the, um, candy cane bark and what I did was I just took the put these in a bag crushed them up you can crush them up as much as you want or as little as you want any size is fine whatever you like you put it on top and it'll be delicious okay you guys this is so simple and so easy so what I did was I just put this in the microwave 30 seconds at a time and melted it simple and easy or you can do it on a double boiler. Okay. And then just make like a big mound. <laughs> Sorry, I was concentrating on the I'm just making a really small batch because I'm going to make another batch of bark with some, um, like all your leftovers that you have from all the goodies from, from, um, the holiday. So that's it. And you could just double that up if you want. So that's going to go in the fridge for five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. And in the meantime, I just rinse the same bowl, or I got a new bowl, rinse the spatula and the spoon and start at the white chocolate. And here's where we're at. And once again, like you put on 30 seconds, nothing really happens, but give it a stir. And then eventually it comes together. Just do it every 30 seconds. It's so simple, guys. Look at how simple and easy this is. And you could use any chocolates you like. You could do light, um, semi-sweet, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. And you could also do a swirl. I mean, you know, endless things. <laughs> Once you start making it, you'll find millions of things and ways to make this. Oh my gosh, and this is so good, you guys. It's so easy, it's so simple. And you can add it to your cookie tray when you're, you know, giving it for gifts. And I'm doing mine on this sill pad, but you could also use, uh, uh, what do you call it? Wax paper, parchment paper. And then here we go, that's it. Guys, it was that easy. We're done. <laughs> and just put as much, you know, candy as you want. And you can actually push it down so it goes in. In the chocolate real well. Oh my gosh. I love this, you guys. And of course, the kids love this. But anyone who loves chocolate and candy really loves that so yeah that can go in the fridge for another five minutes or you could just let it sit out it'll harden but that's it guys and then we'll come back and we'll break it up and have a bite see guys this is what i was talking about you know how you have like reese's left m m's you could do you could crush the oreos i got some kisses some marshmallows and then the candy canes as well um, you could put your sprinkles in there, you know, just throw everything in there, cut them up a little bit. Some of them might need to be cut up and then you could even drizzle more chocolate over the top and that would be so much fun and so much fun for the kids. So hope you guys give this a try. All right. I left it in there for about a half hour. I took it out after 15 minutes and it seems a little, seemed a little soft. Still seems kind of soft. 
but it lifts right up. I tried lifting it with my fingers, you know, like to hope it would pop, but it was a little sticking, so I'm using this, but normally you don't have to use this, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it must be the temperature in this house or something. And they should just break apart into pieces, but it's a little thick right there, but that's okay with me. But yeah, we should just break apart like this and then put them on a plate. I guess I'm gonna have to let these go for another second because look guys, it's it's really hard everywhere else except for maybe just in that spot. Let me see. Yeah, right there in that one spot must have been a little thick or something, see? Hmm. Yeah. So, it just needs to stay in the fridge for a little bit longer. But, don't cut on your sill pad, but you can just break them up like this. <laughs> and it's fun getting a different size every time. All the different sizes. All right, well, let me clean up this little bit of mess I made here because it was just a little thick in that one spot. See? Mmm, guys, these look so good. And we get to eat all these. <laughs> all right, let me clean this mess up, guys. Okay, guys, so we're all set. We're all done. And these are just looking amazing. So let's give one a bite. Mmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, my gosh. It is good. Mmm. <laughs> okay, well, you, this is so simple and so easy. And like take a canning jar, just a regular canning jar like this. And you could, you know, put a ribbon on it and you can put them in there. Or you could just put them in those little tins that they sell at the store. Or just, like I said, add them in with your cookie tray. And yeah, so give these a try, guys. Thanks for spending time with me. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Have a Happy New Year. Hopefully 2023 is a better year for everyone. And um, thanks for joining me in my kitchen. If you're new, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Go check out my cookie um, playlist. I have Christmas, a Christmas cookie playlist, and then I have desserts. So go check them all out. There's so much goodies in there. Easy, simple recipes that anyone can do. So be blessed, guys. Enjoy the holidays. Stay safe.